I'm Cynthia Hughes, live in Santa Barbara, and I've been given to Orphan's Promise for 10 years. It started with my adopted daughter, Elena. We wanted to help individual orphans, and it's very difficult to sponsor individual orphans. And then I was introduced to Orphan's Promise, and one donation gets spread across an entire orphanage. You can make an, a, a very large impact, not just one child, but an entire group of children. And then you see the changes in all of those lives, and it, it became more impactful than just sponsoring one child at a time. They're stewards. They, they look at the money as if it's their own. I completely trust their discretion and their oversight and their wisdom. And it all comes from the top, from Terry. She sets the pace. She's a godly woman that wants to change the world. And her vision is what inspires the staff. And then as an OP partner, you grab the vision and you become part of what she started. And it's so rewarding. There was a little boy named Roger in Peru. And we were able to see the video of how his life was changed. And so we all saw Roger before we were able to go to the uh, House of Hope in Peru and my son was about the same age when we visited and to see Mark playing with soccer balls and running around with this little boy that's life has changed it it was really overwhelming just deeply touching if you give to Orphan's Promise you you think you're helping other children you end up getting so many blessings in return God blesses your family in ways that you would never imagine for instance, our home was just burned from the Thomas Fire in California, and we had uh, many, many trees destroyed. And I was talking with my son, Mark, about, well, we're gonna be replacing some things. And he tells me, but mom, that money could go towards an orphanage. And for him to think in that way is a blessing. He's looking at everything he spends in a different way now, and that's an impact on our family that everyone should have. If you're blessed, then this is a blessing that's eternal.